the thing on. Can you hear me now? There we are. We're going to start with 100. So I want you to come into a tabletop position with your legs. Keep your pillow under your head for now. So you want a 90 degree bend in the knee and also a 90 degree bend in the hip, okay? So we're going to lift the head and shoulders as high as you can and pump the arms 100 times. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Tense the tummy, lift the shoulders, tuck your chin under, reach forward with your arms and then pulse the arms, breathing out. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, and rest. Bring your knees into your chest, give them a hug, and rock from side to side. So that's just to get everything pumping round, get the circulation going. And then we're gonna do a one leg stretch now. So come back into tabletop, 90 degree bend in the knee and the hip, as if you've got your calves on the table. And again, we're gonna lift the head and shoulders. So breathe in, tense the tummy, engage the core, yourself up, tuck your chin under, and then we're going to bring one knee into the chest and extend the other leg away. So the lower you take your leg towards the floor, the harder you can make it. So I want you to pull the knee into your chest, so you're feeling a little stretch in the hip, okay? So nice and slow, breathe out, extend one leg, breathe in, extend the other. Well done. Oh, we've lost the music now. It's not going well, is it? So keep going, do that until I've put the music on, if you can. Is it hurting yet? <laughs> okay, have a rest, bring the knees in. Give them a hug and just gently rock from side to side. So just massaging the bottom of your spine. Okay. Both legs in the air now, so I want you to imagine that your legs are the hands of a clock. Hands down on the floor, and we're going to have both legs at 12 o'clock. And then we're going to take the right leg to quarter past 12, if possible. So breathe in, tense the tummy, engage the core. Okay, then as you breathe out, take your right leg out to the side. So quarter past if you can, if not, 10 past will do. Okay, so try and keep the top half of your body really still. So you're just moving your right leg. Try and keep the left leg still as well, if possible. So you're aiming to get your legs as straight as you can. If you do need to bend them, that's okay. If it's uncomfortable, you may bend them. Last four. So the most important thing here is to keep the core engaged. Breathe it out and breathe in. So each movement is a breath in or a breath out. Okay, last one. Okay, have a little breather before we do the other leg. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a hug and rock from side to side. Okay, so back to 12 o'clock with both legs, hands down. We're gonna take the left leg to quarter two now. Breathe in, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then take that left leg out as far as you can comfortably and bring it back to the center. And again, so you're breathing out to take it to the side and breathing it in, breathing in to bring it back to the middle. So again, try not to move your top half, just focusing on moving the left leg. Everything else should be nice and still. Keep pulling the rib cage down towards the belly button, keeping the abdominals engaged. Okay, you've got three to go if you can. Last two. And one more. And then bring in 
knees in again, give them a hug, and rock from side to side. Okay, we're gonna go for scissors now. So take your legs up again. Again, you wanna try and keep them straight. If you do need to bend them, that's fine, okay? But this is what you're aiming for. Nice straight legs. Hands down, breathe in. Tense the tummy, engage the core, and then start to lower your right leg. Just go halfway down. And then as it comes up, lower the other leg. So your legs are crossing each other in the middle. And then if you can, try and make the movement a bit bigger. So the range of movement it's going to be more to make it harder. So point your toes, relax the shoulders, keep your abdominals engaged, don't let it go, and breathe. Okay, if you want to have a go at lifting your head and shoulders as well, reach forward with the arms. You don't have to lift the head, you can keep the head down if you prefer. If you are lifting your head, make sure you tuck your chin under. So not too fast. Control. Last two. And rest. Bring the knees in. Give them a hug. And rock from side to side. So if you do feel any discomfort with that one, just if you bend your knees when we do any of these exercises, it makes it easier on your back. So keeping your legs straight makes it much harder on your back. Okay, let's put the feet on the floor now and do some bridging. So you want to bring your heels close to your bottom for this one. Keep your pillow under your head and pop your hands down by your sides. So we're going to breathe in. And then as you breathe out, curl your spine off the floor. Squeeze the muscles in your bottom and your legs. And then curl the spine back down. So remember, you're trying to lift your vertebra one by one. So you're getting the muscles in between the vertebra to work. So you're peeling yourself up and then curling the spine back down. Try not to come up in a straight line. Trying to get that spine to be more flexible. So you're breathing out on the way up and breathing in on the way down. Again with this one, try not to scrunch your shoulders. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Okay, let's try four more of those. Breathe out, lift up. Breathe in, curl down. Last three, breathe out, curl up. And breathe in, curl down. And then on this last one, now we're gonna hold it up, okay? And then I want you to pulse your knees together eight times. Is it ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Curl your spine back down. Let's try that again. Curl back up, squeeze and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and curl down. Two more, breathe in, tense the tummy, breathe out, lift, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, curl back down. And then last one if you can, breathe out, lift, hold it up, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slowly curl back down. Okay, give your knees a hug, stretching out the bottom of your back. Rock from side to side if you need to. So we're gonna go side to side with the legs like we did in the warm up, but this time we're gonna come into a tabletop position to do it. So 90 degree bend in the knees and the hips if possible. Okay, hands down, breathe in. Tense the tummy, engage the core, ribs down, and then slowly take your knees to the right, as far as you can comfortably, and bring them back to the center. Now to the left. And then if you find that too uncomfortable, you can put your feet back on the floor to make it easier. Or if you want to make it harder, you can do it with straight legs. Okay, it's up to you. Just work at your own level. So you're breathing out as you take them to one side and breathing in as you bring them back to the center. So concentrate, nice, slow, flowing movements, relaxing the shoulders and keeping your abdominals engaged. Okay, 
Okay, two more. Okay, you're going to put the feet back on the floor now. Slide your legs straight. Ooh, falling off the end of the thing. And then just take both arms over your head and make yourself as long as you can. Lift deep breaths. Okay, then we're going to move the pillow and put your right hand, be uh, your left hand behind your head, and your right arm above your head. So we're going to lift the right shoulder and the left leg at the same time. So pointing your toes, squeeze the muscles in your legs, breathe in, tighten, tummy and ribs down, and then your arm right past your leg and slowly control it back down. So you want to go past the leg, the inside. too fast. Again, if you find it difficult to keep your legs straight, knee easier. Three left if you can. Pull it on the way down as well. Last time. Stretch both arms over your head, make yourself as long as you can. So put your right hand behind your head now. So we're gonna lift the left shoulder and the right leg. So point your toes, take a breath, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then lift the left shoulder and the right leg. Slowly back down, and again, breathe out, lift, and breathe in, lower. As far as you can comfortably. Well done. Last four. So remember to breathe out on the lift. more flexible. Last three. And relax. Okay, stretch out again. Leg straight. knees, roll over onto your front, and we're going to again mobilize the spine. So just have a little stretch for a second. 
So you want to put your elbows on the floor and just lift your chest. So you don't need your pillows now, not for now. Okay, so this, if you have got a bad back, please be careful, only come up as high as you feel comfortable. So put your hands underneath your shoulders, looking straight down at your mat, neck in line with the spine. We're gonna breathe in, tighten, squeeze your tummy muscles, and then use the strength in your arms to peel yourself off the floor. So you might only want to go to there, or you might want to come all the way up and straighten the arms. So listen to your body, and you just do what feels comfortable for you. So your body is quite relaxed. All that's working is the muscles in the arms. But we're trying to get the spine to move one vertebra at a time. So you're breathing out, peeling yourself up and breathing in, curling the spine back down. So remember to tense your tummy muscles before you come up to protect the spine. Try not to tilt your head back as well. You need to keep your eyes looking straight down the whole time so your neck stays in line with your spine. So you should hopefully be feeling this in the backs of the arms. So concentrate on what you're doing with your back. Curling that spine up. Okay, my arms are starting to ache now, so I think we'll do one more. And hold it up. And then come onto your knees and do a cat stretch now. So round your back, suck your tummy in, just let your head drop and push your hips forward so you can feel the stretch in your lower back. And relax into a neutral spine. Okay, we're gonna curl the toes under now and lift the knees off the floor about two inches, not very high, okay? So eyes down, take a deep breath, tense the tummy, engage the core, and then lift the knees a little bit and lower them down. And again, lift and lower. So I want you to do six more of those. I don't know what's going on with this music tonight. So not too high, just a couple of inches. And then when you've done your six, sit into a prayer stretch. So you wanna put your bottom on your heels, stretch both arms forward, try and get your arms straight. Press the hands gently into the floor and relax your head. Extend both arms above your head now. So keeping your head down, arms above the head, and we're gonna lift the right arm and the left leg, and then we're gonna alternate with this one, okay? So keep changing sides. So breathe in, squeeze the tummy muscles, and then as you breathe out, lift your right arm and your left leg, and slowly lower back down. Change sides, left arm, right leg, so try and lift them and extend them away as well, as if somebody's pulling your arm and your leg away from you. So you're stretching as well as lifting. So you want to keep your head down, keep your neck in line with the spine, looking straight down at your mat. Again, remember to tighten your tummy before you lift to protect your spine. Okay, one more on each side. And rest. 
chest. Okay, have a little breather. Bend your arms and just rest your head on your hands. Okay, and then go back into the same position again. And we're gonna lift the arms and the legs as high as you can, okay? If it hurts your back, just go back to doing one arm and one leg, okay? And then we're gonna to pretend to swim. So breathe in, tighten, squeeze your tummy muscles, lift the arms and the legs, and then just pretend that you're paddling on the bottom of the sea. This is called swimming. So try not to hold your breath, keep breathing. Squeeze in those tummy muscles. Neck in line with the spine, keep your head down. And rest. Okay, turn your head to one side again. Just bending the arms. Okay, we're gonna work the muscles in the bottom of the back now. So keep one hand on top of the other and rest your forehead on your hands. Okay, so we'll start with an easy one. Take a deep breath, tense your tummy, really squeeze your tummy and then just lift your chest off the floor, keeping your hands on the floor. And breathe in, release. So squeeze the tummy, breathe out, lift. Now focus on the muscles in your bottom and try and keep them relaxed. So you should feel this in the bottom of your back. Feel the muscles in the bottom of the back working. Okay, if that feels all right and you want to work a little bit harder, you can actually lift your arms off the floor to increase the weight. If that doesn't suit you, then just keep the hands on the floor. So try and keep your legs, your legs shouldn't be moving at all. Just focusing on the muscles in the lower back. And keeping the neck in line with the spine. Last three. Squeeze. So if your bum muscles are twitching, you're not working the right muscles, you need to keep your bottom nice and relaxed. Last one. Okay, rest, and we're gonna have a little stretch now. Cobra yourself back up and come into a cat stretch again. So you're stretching your back in the opposite direction now. So let your head drop, push the hips forward. Okay, relax, and then sitting on your bottom. We're going to do spine twist. If you prefer, you can do this on your knees if you want to. If you can't sit with your legs crossed, if that's not comfortable, then come up on your knees. And do your bum if you feel like you can't sit up straight. So hands together. Rest your middle fingers on your chin. Now take a deep breath. Tension to ribs down. Reach the core, and then as you breathe out, we're going to rotate and look round to the right, keeping the neck in line with the spine, and breathe in, back to the middle. Now to the left, and to the middle. So you want to try and go a little bit further each time, keeping the fingers on the chin so that keeps your neck in line with your spine. So keep breathing as well. Last two. And rest. Okay, into the saw now. So you're going to straddle with your legs nice and wide. Lift your bum up, slide yourself forward. So keep your legs relaxed, but flex your feet. Arms out, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath, and then as you breathe out, reach to the opposite side, okay? Change sides. So you might not be able to reach your toes, that's okay, but that's what you're aiming for. Okay, so bring the arms out to finish and straighten the spine. So breathe out, reach, breathe in, sit up tall, arms straight. 
Breathe out, reach. So the hand that goes to the back, the palm needs to turn to face the ceiling as you rotate. So see if you can go a little bit further now. So you're soaring off your little toe with your little finger. You're right, Davina. Yeah. Last two. And one more. Okay, and we're going to hold the arms out. Now you can do whatever you want with your legs if you need to move them. And do some little circles backwards. So you're squeezing all the muscles in your shoulders now. direction, circle forwards. Are we on level 10 yet? Not quite. Three more. And relax. Okay, slide your legs together and give your legs a little shake. So I'm just going to turn sideways. So we're going to do arms up. So you want to keep your arms at the same height as your shoulders. Okay, nice straight back, flex your feet, take a deep breath, tense the tummy and then we're going to arch the spine, press your spine away from you, so you're like a turtle shell. Okay, and then in that position, reach forward now without dropping the arms. Okay, and then sit up straight, so you're straightening your spine. Okay, breathe in. Tense the tummy, drop the chin, breathe out, reach. And breathe in, sit up straight. And again, curve the spine and reach. Come back up, straighten the spine. So we are working the muscles in the shoulders as well. So try and keep those arms up if possible. Last three. So we're going forwards, not backwards. Last two. And one more time, so you should be feeling it in your arms now. And rest. Okay, just relax the arms down, give them a little circle. And then bend your knees and give your knees a hug. Pull them into your chest and tighten the muscles in your spine. Okay, from this position now, keep your feet flat on the floor and hold around the fronts of your knees. So start with a straight back, take a deep breath, tense the tummy, drop the chin, and we're gonna do the same again, arching your back into a turtle shape and then straightening your spine back up. Again, so you're breathing out as you arch and breathe in as you sit up tall. Okay, so if you're happy at this level, you can carry on. If you want to increase the level, we're going to let go of the legs. Okay, so breathing out all the way, roll down, hold it there, and then roll back up again, straighten out the spine. So you're breathing out, take a breath, and breathe out, roll back up, straighten the spine. as you can comfortably. It's up to you how far down you want to go. As long as you can control it. So if you start to lose control, it means you've gone too far. You should be able to come back up nice and smoothly. Okay, two more left. Two more left. all the muscles in your back. How are you all feeling? Are you all okay? 
So we're going to do rolling like a ball now. So this is good for the circulation in your spine. So just make sure you haven't got anything behind you that you're going to fall on top of. So <clears throat> lifting your feet off the floor. So you're balancing on your bum now. Okay, so you need to do that turtle shape in the back and then we're going to roll back. Okay, so imagine that you're four years old. Breathe in. Chuck your chin under and roll. So do about five. balance on your bottom. Okay, if that's all going okay, straighten out the legs. So try and keep your back straight as well. Open your feet and see if you can get into a V shape now. So nice, straight back, straight legs. And then if you want to, off you go, rolling backwards. scared of rolling off the edge of this thing. So as you get better at that one, you can use the muscles to control it. Okay, bring your knees in again. Give them a hug. We're running out of time. It's gone really quickly tonight, hasn't it? So what should we do our balls then? We'll do our stretching with our balls. So if you get your balls and put them underneath your bottom, I've lost mine. Where are they? Go up and up and down on this stage on night and night. So you're going to put your balls underneath your bum, one under each cheek. Put your pillow under your head so your neck's comfy. Okay, are we all in? So bend your knees to start with, and then I want you to bring your right knee into your chest, pull it in so you can feel a stretch in the hip. So hold it there, and then straighten out your left leg and flex your left foot. And then you're gonna hover your left foot a couple of inches off the floor. Okay, just hold it there. Nice deep breaths. Pulling that knee towards the chest. Okay, relax your left leg back down and bring your right leg into a 90 degree bend. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly take that right leg out to the right. So you should feel the ball pressing into your right bum cheek now. So if it feels uncomfortable, you can put your foot on the floor if you prefer. Foot up or foot down, doesn't matter. Just hold it there. Try and relax the muscles in your bum. Okay, and then bring that right leg back to the middle and take the right leg over the top of the left leg, keeping your shoulders on the floor. So now you've got an option here. You can either just stay like that or you can lift your left leg up and down a few times. So just lift the leg and you'll feel the ball pressing into your left bum cheeks now. So if you move the angle of your foot every time you lift into a different position, you'll feel it in a different place each time you lift. Okay, last one. And relax. Okay, bring it back and change legs. So you might need to just Move your balls around a little bit, they might have moved, get them right in the middle, and then bring your left knee into your chest. So pull it in gently, and then straighten out the right leg, flex the right foot, and just hover that right leg off the floor. So keep pulling the left knee towards the chest. Okay. 
Okay, relax the right leg back down to the floor and then you want your 90 degree bend in the left leg and take your left leg out to the left. So you can feel the ball pressing into your left bum cheek now. So remember you can put your foot on the floor if you prefer. Whatever feels more comfortable. and then you're going to take your left leg over the top of your right leg so now you're feeling the ball pressing into your right bum cheek and then again you've got option you can lift the leg up and down or you can stay still it's up to you so remember to change the angle of the foot each time you lift shoulder so if you lift one shoulder put the ball as close to your spine as you can so you're in between the shoulder blade and the spine on that little muscly bit in the middle and then do the other side just one at a time otherwise you get in the right pickle okay so keep your feet on the floor knees bent and then nice and slowly now just raise both arms up and over your head and just try and relax them to the floor now can relax into the balls let the balls sink into the muscle if they're not in the right place just move them around a little bit you don't you don't want them on your bone you need them on the muscly bit over your left knee and then I want you to lift your left foot off the floor and if you can reach hold around the back of your left leg okay again lift the head and shoulders and pull the leg towards your chest so if you prefer to keep your head down that's fine if you have got your head up remember you need to tuck your chin under otherwise you're going to hurt your neck so see if you can get your toe in your mouth. Go on, Chris, you can do it. <laughs> okay, relax, both legs back down. I'm gonna change sides now. So take your left leg up, keep it as straight as you can, holding around the back of that left leg, pull it towards your chest. Lift the head and shoulders again if you want to. If you prefer to keep your head down, as long as it feels comfortable, that's fine. Pulling your leg towards your head. Okay, 
relax, cross your left foot over your right knee, and then lift your right foot off the floor. Again, if you can reach, hold around the back of the right leg. If you can't reach, doesn't matter. And then lift the head and shoulders if you want to, and pull the leg towards your chest. Okay, relax both legs, back down to the floor. Okay, we're gonna roll over now onto your side and onto your hands and knees. And then we're gonna get the rollers now. I thought you got away with it, didn't you? Only because Morris has got a new roller. I want to torture him. So we're gonna lie on our front and put the roller right in the middle of your thighs. Okay, so resting on your elbows. And then just roll all the way up your leg and all the way down. So if you've got quite long legs, you might need to do a little walk on your elbows. So you can scream if you want to, I don't mind. Looks really awkward, Jill. <laughs> it's a very oval one, that isn't it? <laughs> okay, I want you to hold the roller now right above your knees. So not actually on the bone, on the knee, on the muscle above the knee. Flex your feet, and then we're gonna just bend the legs and straighten the legs. Again, bend and straighten. Try and suck your tummy in so that you don't hurt your back as well. So that one wasn't too bad, was it? So roll back a bit now so that the roller is right in the middle of your thighs. Okay, flex your feet. And again, bend and straighten the legs. You're quiet tonight, Davina, you all right? You lost your voice. <laughs> Suffering in silence. <laughs> okay, and then the last one, you're gonna roll it right to the top of your thighs now. So this is the most painful bit. Flex your feet, pull your tummy in, and again, just bend and straighten the legs. Last one. And relax. Okay, push yourself up onto your hands and knees. You can get rid of that now. And come into a cat stretch. So you're rounding your back. Let your head drop. Push your hips forward. So you're like a humpback bridge. and then we're going to take the right hand through the gap in the arm of the leg, so palm facing the ceiling, and then just get your shoulder and your head. And gently press the forearm into the floor to increase the stretch. Don't press too hard. Okay, push back up and change sides. So remember your palm needs to be facing the seat. So pressing the forearm into the floor. time left so if you curl your toes under and then lift your knees off the floor and try and straighten your legs so if you can't get your legs straight take your feet apart a little bit 
and then you want to come push your head through your arms towards your thighs so you're turning yourself into a nice pointy triangle and then if you can lower your heels down a little bit so you can also feel the stretch in your calf muscles keep pushing the head through the arms Okay, take a deep breath in, squeeze your tummy muscles and then walk your hands towards your feet without bending your knees. Keep your hands on the floor, back into the turtle shape, round your back and then just lift your arms off the floor a little bit and we're going to swing the arms in circles. So you should have a nice rounded back now. It's going to get away from the edge. So let the arms just swing, no effort, just letting them swing in circles. Okay, change direction. And then again, take a deep breath in, squeeze the tummy muscles, bend your knees a little bit, and then slowly start to uncurl with control. Until you're standing up nice and straight and then just circle the shoulders backwards. Circle them round and give your feet a little paddle now. How are you all feeling? Okay? That wasn't too bad tonight, was it? I was quite kind. And then take both feet nice and wide now, toes out. And then if you cross your arms, bend the knees, big deep breath in, squeeze the muscles in your back and your tummy, and breathe out. And again, deep breath in, bend the knees, stretch and squeeze, and breathe out. And one last time, big deep breath in, squeeze, and breathe out. And that is it, you are done. Give yourselves a big clap, well done guys. So you're all okay. Yeah, I'll automatically book you in for next week unless you tell me otherwise, okay? Would you, would you mind um, wiping the mats? Because we haven't got long before the next class, if that's okay. If you haven't got time, that's fine, I'll do it for you.